Hi guys, this is Stacy. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, we are making a party invitation. I had seen this idea on the Cricut Make It Now project page, but they want us to pay 99 cents for their version. I thought, you know, we could probably make something similar to that on our own without paying the dollar for it. So all this is is an envelope that you're gonna draw on using the Cricut markers, really cute. It is held together with a belly band. On the front there, it says, you're invited. Slide that off on the inside it says to a party. So you're invited to a party. There's enough space here that you guys can write down party information. On the back, I chose different party themed images, you know, like birthday hats, candles, presents, balloons to decorate the back side of the envelope. I like how that looks. And I just use the Cricut markers here. You know, you can change this for whatever occasion you want for the party, uh, Christmas, the holidays, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Um, you can change the colors, make it multicolor. I just kept it really simple and chose just one color throughout. And it just closes back up with the belly band on front. Isn't that cute? Now the one thing you want to keep in mind when using this or making this project is your cardstock color choice. You don't want to go with a real dark color like a blue or a dark black or a dark purple because your images may not show through because you are drilling with them. And I did use the Cricut marker brand, um, the Cricut wine color. I liked how that looked against the pink. Really cute. And this is a good size envelope. It measures about about four and three quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. So really cute. And you of course can mail it out like if you want to, like a traditional envelope, but I do like it with the belly band. All right, let's go to the computer and get started. Okay, we're at the computer. Let's go ahead and go to the Cricut Design Space webpage. And we're gonna log in the way we always do. Click on that green box in the upper left hand corner. Enter in your email and your password. And then once you see your name in that green box, that confirms you're logged in. You then want to go here where it says create new project. And then let that load for a moment. Alright, we're going to go on the gray, uh, gray toolbar, left hand side, click on insert images. It's going to bring up our image library. I'm under all images. In the search box, I'm going to type in the word envelope. And all these images I'm using for this project are included in the subscription plan. So if you guys have that, you should be good to go. All right, let me scroll down and find the envelope I used. Right there, and that is from the Creative Everyday Cards. Insert that image. And I will have the complete file for download on my blog at designspace44 at blogspot.com, as well as all the names that I've, of all the cards I've used. All right, there's our envelope. Let's go ahead and go to the edit panel, have your envelope selected. And the first thing we wanna do is rotate our envelope so it's going the right orientation. So right here where it says rotate, click on that and enter the number nine zero, hit enter. All right, and then we're gonna change our width and height. We wanna unlock the lock that's connecting the two together. Click on the lock and you will see it open for you. And then since we rotated it, our width is now our height and our height is our width. So for the width here, I'm gonna write in the number 9.82 hit enter. For my height, I'm going to put in 6.52 and hit enter. So there we have our envelope. I'm going to zoom out on my screen a little bit so I can see the entire envelope there. All right, now I want to go back to insert images. Where I'm still under all images. In that search box, type in the word square. And since our envelope has rounded corners, I want my square to have rounded corners as well. So let me find one of those. And right there looks good. And that is from Home Accents. Click on that. We're going to insert the image. And I'm going to right click on it, hit ungroup. Oop. Okay, we're going to hide contour. All right, hide that center square. So now I have a solid piece. And all I did there was right clicked on it, went down to hide contour, and then clicked on that square. All right, so now I'm going to take this piece and bring it over. In your envelope, you're going to see score lines here. You want this piece, and this is going to be my brown layer, to fit just inside there, leaving a little bit of a border. Just readjust your sizing a little bit. All right, so the size of that piece, when I go to my edit panel, is with a 4.5 height of 4.17. All right, I'm now gonna take that one, hit copy it, 
or go up top and hit copy, hit paste. So now I'm going to have two of them. Bring that one over. I'm going to change the color of this one. Go to your layer panel, find the square, change the color to, I'm going to do pink. I want this one to be a little bit smaller than that one, so to bring that one back over. And then just grab the corners again and make that one smaller so we're making a mat. Okay, just like that. Looks good. All right, now let's go back to insert images and we're going to grab our lined paper under all images. Type in the word lines, L-I-N-E-S. And we're going to scroll down until we find that lined paper and it is from the cartridge uh, Simply Charmed, which is also in the subscription plan. And that is right there. Click on that. Insert the image. It's going to appear there. I'm going to make this one really large because we're going to hide contour this. So there's our piece there. I'm going to click on it, right click on it, hit ungroup. I'm going to separate it and then take that black piece out of the way. And go back. While we're there, take these eyes out or the cheeks out, hit delete on that. All right, let's go back to our shape here. Right click on it, hit hide contour. We're going to hide the circles here for the binder. And then we're going to click on the eyes in here, the mouth, and then the cheek areas here as well. And you're going to, it's going to be kind of hard to go over that, but you'll know when you're on it because it'll highlight for you. I'm going to actually make this larger. Okay, so let's right click on it again, hit hide contour. Okay, I got that one, that one. Okay, when you think you have them all, just click on your mat. All right, so now we have just lined paper. So I'm gonna again make this smaller. Now I want this piece to fit on top of that piece right there. So just finagle your lines, you know, just make them fit in there. Like that. Okay, all right, so we have that. Now what I wanna do here is take both of those pieces. Well, first I wanna change this piece. So click on your white paper, find that in your layer panel. And again, you will see that it will be highlighted. Change the scissors to the word right. And we're gonna change the color down here to midnight. Okay, so now that's gonna write out the lines for us. Let's go back to insert images and we're gonna grab the images for the envelope. So under all images here, go down to where it says My Image Sets, and then in the search box, you're going to type in the cartridge name, uh, Birthday Bash. That's where I got all the images at. All in one spot for you. All right, there's the cartridge right there, and again, it is, it is a um, subscribed cartridge. Click on that. It's going to bring up the images in that cartridge, and we're going to find the pieces I've used. All right, so we used a candle, a balloon, a present, so there's the candle. Click on that. Let's find the balloon, which is right there. You'll see it has a tag on it, not a big deal. We're gonna ungroup those. Let's go down and find the scallop. And lastly is the present, which I believe is at the very bottom. Yep, right there. Okay, so I click on that. So I have all four pieces. We're going to bring that to our mat. Let me move all these out of the way. So now we just have our envelope here, okay? So grab your pieces. All right, so the candle is good. So I'm going to click on the candle, go to my layer panel, find the candle, and again, it'll be highlighted over here. Then change that from cut to right, then change the color to midnight. Do the other part of the candle, click on right, and change it to midnight. Now you can make these any color you want. So if you want this to be a multicolored envelope, that might look kind of you know neat too. I'm just keeping it simple and doing everything one color. Our present, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Click on our layer panel, find the present. Which is right there. And again, you can see that it's shadowed. Change the cut to right and then change the color to midnight. And the same thing for the other part of the present. Click on that, change it to right and go to midnight. All right, so now, oh, I forgot the, the party hat. Let's go back to insert images. And let's go back and find the hat I used. 
which is right there. Okay, so go back and insert the image. There's our party hat. And again, I'm going to right click on this one, hit ungroup, take away that blue piece, hit delete. So now I just have the party hat in my layer panel. Click on the scissors and change that to right, then change the color to midnight. And then lastly, we have the balloon piece. Click on that, right click on it, hit ungroup. Take the brown piece away, delete that. So now I just have the balloon. Change the balloon from right or from cut to right. And change the color to midnight. Okay. So now all we want to do now is rearrange these on our envelope. And you want to have them go all directions because your envelope will go all directions. You know, either way you see it. So take each piece, and I'm going to hit copy and paste a few times on each one of these. Maybe three or four copies of each one. So I'll just hit copy and paste up here on my top toolbar. Move my layer panel out of the way. Find my present, click on copy, and then paste. You want to make enough copies of each one so you can fill up your envelope area. All right, so now I have my balloon. Hit copy and paste. And one more is our candle. Click on that, hit copy, and then paste. And we may not use all these, but I'd rather do, you know, do it now, and then we can go back and delete them if we're not going to use them. Right, looks like I went ahead, so let this finish loading for us. That may be stuck. I might have gone too quickly for the cricket. All right, there we go. I caught up. All right, so hit copy and paste again with our candle. All right, now I'm going to take each piece and kind of rearrange them on my envelope here. Now you want some of them going off the envelope as well. It makes it look more authentic when they're running off. All right, so I'm going to uh, fast forward this part here. All I'm going to do is add these pieces around my envelope. And again, I'm rotating them all kinds of directions so they're not all the same pattern. Okay, and I will be right back when we're done doing this. Okay, so I got all the pieces around there. I'm going to go ahead and delete these extra candles that we didn't need. All right, now I'm going to zoom out again using that minus button on my gray toolbar so I can see my whole envelope. All right, now you want to take your left mouse button, hold that down, and drag it across the entire piece, your envelope and your images. Right click on it, hit group. Click on it again, and go to your layer panel and click on attach. That's going to attach the shapes to the envelope. All right, so that piece is done. Now on this piece, I'm going to right click on it and hit move to front. Just so I can see how it's going to look on my envelope. Take this piece and do the same thing. Right click and move to front. All right, so that piece is good. This piece we have set to right already. Let's go ahead and double check that. Find that down here. Yes, we have it to set the draw. We're going to click on that, right click on it, and move to front. So now on top of this piece here, I'm going to go ahead and change this to be white. So click on that in your layer panel, find the shape there and change that color to be white. I right, then bring this on top. I'm actually going to move it over a little bit, away from my envelope a little bit. I'm kind of centering on the bottom. Like that. All right, now we're going to go take our scallop piece, right click on that. Hit ungroup. Actually, nope, I'm sorry, hit undo. We want to size our scallop first. So just, you know, kind of guesstimate. Uh, right now the scallop is 2.42. I think I had mine at 2. Let's go ahead and change that to be 2 inches. Then hit enter. All right, that is good to go. So now we can go ahead and right click on the scallop, hit ungroup, and then separate the two pieces. And you'll see there's dots in those. So click on each one, hit hide contour. Then go in there and click on the little dots. So we have a solid piece for our scallop and also a solid piece for our circle. So once again, right click on it, hit hide contour, click on the little shapes. There we go. All right, that is good to go. I'm also going to change this piece of my scallop to white as well. All right, now I want to go and add text. Left hand side toolbar, click on where it says add text, and we're going to write in here 
the word your, Y-O-U, apostrophe R-E, hit enter, and then the word invited. Oops, invited. Okay, in my edit panel, I'm going to click on where it says all fonts and go down to where it says has a writing style. And I'm actually going to stay on Cricut Alphabet. I think that looks kind of like a party font. So I'm going to find my font in my window here, change that. It's already set on right. I'm going to change the color to midnight, make it more dark, move that out of the way. I'm going to center this on top of that white circle. Okay, then when you have it the way you like it, make it a little bit smaller there. Okay, when you have it the way you like it, take your mouse, holding it down, drag it across the circle and the text, right click on it, hit group, and then click on it again, click attach. That's going to attach the text to that piece. Now the only thing we need to do now is add our text down here. Go back to add text. In our text box, write the words to a party. And again, we're already on the writing style font. So I'm going to bring this down and put it on top of the white piece here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Take your mouse across all the pieces, right click on them, hit group, click on it again, and click attach. All right, so now we were to go to cut this out now, we're gonna have a bunch of pieces here. Okay, we have our envelope piece, our brown piece, the white piece, our white, and our other piece here. I'm actually gonna click on one of these and go to my sync window. And I want to make all these the same color besides my envelope. So my envelope is here that will go on one piece of cardstock. My All the other ones can go on the same. So just click on it there, drag it to another color, and you'll see them all change to be white. So if I go and hit go, my envelope will be on one mat, and the other pieces will be on the second mat. Then we're going to rearrange it on this mat here so we can take it to the Cricut. I'm actually not going to take it to the Cricut. I'm actually going to take it right to the craft table. Um, I'm going to be using my wine marker that came with the Cricut to draw all my pieces. So there's our envelope. That's going to be a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Our second mat, we have this piece here, the solid piece. That will be my brown color. This part here and this part here where the writing is will be white. So I'm going to bring this piece down. My white cardstock will go on the upper right hand corner of my mat. And when you're rearranging, make sure you don't see that red line. If you see the red line, you went too far. Take this piece as well, bring that by my white. So my second mat will look like that. I have my brown piece of cardstock, my white piece of cardstock, and my pink piece of cardstock, or the same color as your envelope. I'm going to go ahead and hit go. It's going to do our envelope first. We're going to go ahead and load that in there. It's going to draw and cut that out, and I'm going to take you guys to the table, and we'll put this together. Okay, guys, we are back. I went ahead and changed up my colors. I'm actually using pistachio pudding. I also used my Simply Scored board and reinforced our score lines there. Let's go ahead and give these guys a crease. I'm fold those up. So I apologize for not showing you guys, you know, you guys the cutting like I always do, but the video was just going to be too long. I don't want to bore you guys. All right, so there is our envelope. And there's our pretty decoration on that. Let's bring our mat over here and take these pieces off. I changed this to be baked brown sugar. That one. All right, so we have all those pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is take my scallop and my little high-tech tool here, which is just a piece of foam and a thumbtack. Let me zoom you guys in. I'm going to take my thumbtack and poke each scallop. You can use, you know, your paper piercing tool, but for me it's just easier to grab my thumbtack. And it works just as well. Okay, so there's that. Really cute, right? Alright, now let's find our little greeting. Right there, and we are going to put some snail on the back of that, or any kind of piece of you guys like. And that's going to go on top of that. Isn't that cute? I like how the scallops with the holes in them just add so much more to the card or to the envelope. All right, now we have our brown piece and this piece. We're going to layer those two together. 
like I said, you can use this for so many things. You know, any kind of party that you're inviting guests to, you can use that for. I got a little hangy piece there. Okay, take this, put adhesive on the back of that one. I'm going to put that in our envelope. And it fits in there really nicely. We probably could have went a little bigger on this piece, but I think we're good. Okay, so there's that inside that. So we're going to close this up and close that up and close that up. Oh, that is too cute. All right, now to close that up with our belly band, I took a piece of the Baked Brown Sugar uh, Designer Series paper stack. This is one and a quarter by 12. And what I'm going to do is kind of fold this up, start with the back, and then bring it around, fold it over. Don't crease it, just lightly fold it. And then bring this one up. And again, you don't want to crease these, just, you know, lightly fold them up. Kind of fold that over where I'm going to cut it. Take that off and cut. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this one. All right. And the same thing, we're going to bring that back over. Bring this up, this piece up here. And this piece down. Easier said than done. Lining it up like that. Like I said, you don't want to go too tight on it. Okay, so let's take it off. I'm just going to flip it over so I the, my seam is more towards the top. Okay, so bring this back in. I'm going to push it down so that I'll keep our envelope closed. Take your scallop piece and your adhesive and put that where the seam meets so you can hide that with this piece here. Okay, look at that. How cute is that? Love it. Okay, that's going to take that off. So there you have it. To a party. And like I said, there's plenty enough room there for you guys to write in, you know, RSVP stuff. And I like that they can put it on the fridge. They can use a magnet up here and they can write down what they're going to bring. Like maybe it's like a potluck party or a housewarming party. They can write down things they're going to bring there or uh, present ideas for the birthday party person. Really fun. All right, so there you have it, guys. Today's little project. Really cute. There's one of the pistachio pudding, and then we have it there in the uh, pink pirouette. Any questions, let me know. And once again, if you like the video, please thumbs up. It does help me out. All the files for this will be on my blog at designspace44.blogspot.com. The link will be in the, in the description box. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.